Hi, welcome to the Fight Age channel. The owner of the WBA, IBF and WBO heavyweight belts Anthony Joshua in an interview with Gary Neville discussed the failed fight against Tyson Fury. While noting that he is ready to fight with a Gypsy King and without titles at stake, the head of the top rank promotion company Bob Arum refutes rumors that the third fight between the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury and Dante Wilder was actually postponed from July 24 to October 9 due to weak demand for tickets and not due to the virus picked up by the Gypsy King. The head of the Matchroom Boxing Company, Eddie Kearn, believes that the fight for the title of the absolute world heavyweight champion between his ward Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury should be held early next year. According to here, they planned the fight for December, but since the fighters are scheduled to fight in the fall, it is better for the rivals that they share the rank in February. Shane McGigan, the coach of British heavyweight Daniel Dubos, believed that in a fight with Alexander Usyk, the WBA, WBO and IBF world champion Anthony Joshua needs to use his superiority in size and power, and also make sure that the fight will take place in the most compact ring. James Ali Bashir, the former coach of the Ukrainian heavyweight Alexander Usyk, does not believe that the decision to gain weight before the fight with Anthony Joshua will bring any benefit to his former world. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to the channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I am trying very hard and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. The owner of the WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight belts, Anthony Joshua, in an interview discussed the failed fight against Tyson Fury while noting that he is ready to fight with the Gypsy King and without titles at stake. I only know that my managers and promoter have done absolutely everything to organize this fight, and as long as I remain the champion, I will fight with any opponent. Right now, I am facing a difficult test in the person of Alexander Usyk, a great fighter, Joshua said. Am I ready to fight Fury without belts? I am all for it. That's exactly what I'm talking about. We will definitely fight with him, 100%. Let's do it. I will destroy this guy. And so it will be. Joshua also found it difficult to answer when asked. Does he respect Tyson Fury? I don't know. I like Vladimir Klitschko. He's cool. But I don't know. I don't look at anyone from my industry in this way. They're just people I want to fight. I didn't have much time to get to know them better, and I am not friends with any of them. After all, they are all enemies to me. Recall that Joshua's duel with Usyk will take place on September 25 at the Tottenham Stadium. The head of the top rank promotion company Bob Arum refused rumors that the first fight between the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury and Dante Wilder was actually postponed from July 24 to October 9 due to weak demands for tickets and not due to the virus caught by the Gypsy King. People on social media are saying, hey, this all happened because of bad ticket sales. Yeah, because of the bad sales. The tickets put 15 million in your picky bank. This is not a situation when a fighter withdraws from a fight due to a shoulder or bicep injury. There may be a space for rumors there. As soon as the virus was detected for the first time, we notified the commission. She connected the doctor who worked with us in the bubble. Wilder's team did the right thing. They should be praised. We didn't do the right thing. We acted under the delusion that the pandemic was over, Bob Arum told the World Boxing News Portal. The head of the Mushroom Boxing promotion company Eddie Hearn 
believes that the fight for the title of the absolute world heavyweight champion between his ward Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury should be held early next year. According to here, they planned the fight for December, but since the fighters are scheduled to fight in the fall, it is better for the rivals that they share the rank in February. We wanted to organize their fight in December, but Anthony fights on September 25 and Fury in October, so I think February looks more realistic, Hearn said. The promoter also shared his thoughts about the venue of this fight. There was a great offer from Saudi Arabia to hold this fight there. If you look at the situation as a wall, then both guys are putting everything on the line in this confrontation, and it is logical, so the main goal is to earn as much money as possible. If fans in the United Kingdom are allowed to fill the arena, then this is also not a bad option. Maybe it will be Las Vegas. We will see. But let's do everything in order. Now our goal is to defeat Usyk, because if we don't do this, then we can't forget about the unification of titles. Here added. The WBA, WBO, IBF World Heavyweight Champion Anthony Joshua shared his thoughts about his sensational defeat to Andy Ruiz, which he suffered in the summer of 2019. No excuses, it just happens sometimes. So that evening the stars come together, and of course there were reasons for this. The stars do not converge just like that. Many factors must come together. Sooner or later, they will turn out either in your favor or not. Everything didn't work out in my favor that night, but I learned to be strong. Regardless, I didn't feel lonely. It was really fun, hard and difficult. I returned my debt. But this trip turned out to be fun. There was no negativity in the situation. I may have lost to Ruiz. But I have made so many Mexicans happy. I gave them the first ever world heavyweight champion from Mexico. Despite my suffering, I made other people happy, changed the life of the Ruiz family. So we can look at it from this point of view. The main thing in life is how you look at the things. Anthony Joshua said in an interview. Shane McGigan, the coach of British heavyweight Daniel Dubos, believes that in a fight with Alexander Usyk, the WBA, WBO and IBF world champion Anthony Joshua needs to use his superiority in size and power and also make sure that the fight will take place in a most compact ring. This is a tough fight for Joshua. It all depends on how he approaches it. Joshua has very good legs, so maybe he will try to compete with Usyk in the footwork, play a high-speed game. You saw that Usyk was like a frightened rabbit. I stunned him. We need to do everything possible to make the ring small. It cannot be less than 5.5 meters, but it is necessary to get as close as possible to this. You need to make sure that you don't give the Usyk space. We need to stop him. Attack quickly and combine, because you will hit him not with the first, but with the second and third blow," Shane McGigan said in an interview. James Alibashir, the former coach of the Ukrainian heavyweight Alexander Usyk, does not believe that the decision to gain weight before the fight with Anthony Joshua will bring any benefit to his former world. I don't think that weight gain will give Usyk an advantage. I don't think it will benefit him at all maybe for one or two rounds, but in the course of the fight, if it drags on, I don't think it will do him any good. It seemed to me that in his fights in the heavyweight division, but I don't know, maybe I'm looking back at his fights in the first heavyweight division, James Ali Bashir said in an interview. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.